um, Smithfield Square was proposed to be the main rendezvous point for the rebellion in Dublin um, in May 1798. But in March 1798, almost the entire Leinster leadership were rounded up and arrested. The information came through government spies. Um, they were rounded up and arrested in Oliver Bond's house, uh, very near the Brazen Head where we're going today. And um, historians have written that it's remarkable that they planned rising here at Smithfield Square and Newmarket on the south side near the Coombe. They were the two points. It was remarkable that they, they continued planning to go ahead with the rebellion, considering that they were, the rebels were hopelessly outnumbered and the entire leadership was in prison. So um, we chose this spot and um, when it came to the rebellion, when the rebels advanced here, the whole area was uh, swamped by yeomen and the rebels retreated. After that then there were wholesale arrests, torturings, hangings and uh, exemplary executions on the bridges, on the bridges of the Keys. So um, I'm going to call on Philip Breen first to um, give us a recitation which you're all familiar with having come through the same education system. Well, any Irish people here anyway. Um, it's called Who Fears to Speak of 98? And it was written by John Kells Ingram, who, who was one of the nation poets. Now, one of the ironies, ironies of uh, the first line, who, speaks to, who fears to speak of 98, was that when it was published in the nation, he insisted on it being published anonymously. <laughs> so, Philip, I'm going to hand, hand you over to Philip Breen. Who fears to speak of 98? Who blushes at the name? And cowards mock the patriot's fate. Who hangs his head in shame? He's all a knave and half a slave as slice his country thus. But a true man like you, man, will fill the glass with us. We drink the memory of the brave, the faithful and the few. Some lie far off beyond the waves. Some sleep in Ireland too. All, all are gone. But still lives on the fame of those who died. And true men like you, men, remember them with pride. They rose and dark and evil days to write their native Latin. They've kindled here a living blaze that nothing can withstand. Alas, that might should vanquish right. They fell and passed away. But true men like you men are plenty here today. Then let us drink to their memory. May it be for us a guiding light to hear our strife for liberty and teach us to unite. To good and ill, the Ireland still, though sad is the, there's your plight. And you men be true men like those of 98. Thank you.